Salut tout le monde, happy 2015 everyone. Hope you had a great holidays and New Year's and everything. I'm now back in Paris, ready to get back into the swing of things, but first I have to finish up my finals from last semester because here they happen after New Year's and after vacation. So just last week I finished up my first class, one more to go, but that class was called Image Romaine. It's about Roman imagery and historical and anthropological approaches to learning about statuary and images from the Roman time period. So I thought I would let everyone know just a brief overview of what I learned in that class. First things first, bare feet. Only gods get to wear bare feet. Mere mortals always wear shoes. Oh, you whippersnappers. Wrinkles is a sign of wisdom, sagacity, all those good stuffs. That's why some of those old Roman statues look so terrible, because they exaggerated how old they were to look smarter. Only the wisest of men would have such a distinguished face as this one here I've drawn on with my eyeliner. On the flip side, the Romans were super into youth and strength too. They would totally have been guilty of photoshopping their Instagrams to make their faces look smoother, younger, and do that thing where they have a fake six pack. Beards! Roman beards come from two distinct time periods. The before 300 BC period, when they were mostly influenced by the Greeks. Romans had just conquered Greece and the, all the Hellenistic city-states and said basically, these guys have culture, we should get us some of that. And so they took their beards. Beards then fell out of fashion until the late empire when they were brought back by a bunch of hipsters who looked exactly like this. should shave. Last but not least, heroic nudity. In Greek statuary, the heroes like Hercules, people like him, were generally portrayed as nude. And so whenever, say, a politician or a general or an emperor wanted to show that they too were heroic, they would commission a statue of them nude. I, for one, am truly grateful that we have left that behind us because really, no one wants to see that. Not a single person. It's again where Photoshop comes in because a lot of these guys have spectacular abs and I really don't think that they did in real life. So there you have it. That's what I learned in my Roman imagery class. If you liked it, you could give this video a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. If you really liked it, you can subscribe and you'll find out when I make new videos and you can leave a comment if you actually learned something or if you actually have some real knowledge to contribute. Thanks everyone, see you soon, bye!